Hi, this is Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to do these really cool three-dimensional flying titles in HitFilm Express for free. So the HitFilm Express software is free. I am currently working in 5.0 HitFilm Express version, but you can use any version of the free HitFilm Express software. And the first thing we need to do is we need to create the three-dimensional titles. Now, I have to tell you that those three-dimensional titles are fake. They're not actual real three-dimensional, but they look pretty three-dimensional. So I'm going to create a new composite shot, and I am going to call make it two seconds long. I'm going to call this one Action, which was the first uh, title that I had there. I'm going to create a new text layer. And I am going to make it the width of my project, which is 1920. I'm going to leave the height at 400 so that it's tall enough to be able to fit the word action in there. I'm going to click on the text icon. And after clicking inside the box, I am going to type the word action. Okay. Then I am going to highlight that word. And under the text tab, I will center it maybe change the font, increase the size, and basically get it to where I want it, okay? Now, if I want it to be a different color, at this time, I would go ahead and change the color of the font. So for example, if I wanted it to be red, then I would click here on this box and make this a red font, okay? And I'll leave it red for just a second. All right, now what is going to happen now is I'm gonna go back to my selection tool. I'm going to right click on the new text and duplicate it. And I can even rename this um, 3D, for example, okay? I'm going to now under effects, search for a few effects. We're gonna start with the zoom blur effect. And when I find it, I'm gonna drag it down onto the 3D text. I'm going to twirl open the properties and under strength, I'm going to draw it to the negative area and it can be any number you want. I'll make it about 20 pixels deep, okay? Then I'm going to search for the neon glow effect and I'm going to drag the neon glow effect in underneath the zoom blur effect. And if I twirl that open, I'm going to ramp up the intensity to one but I'm going to make the expansion zero and the radius zero, okay? Now, all I have to do is change the color of that. And what I would do is, using this one doesn't work, so what I'm going to do instead is find a fill color effect, drag it in underneath both of those, ramp that up to 100%, and change it to the color of the text. But what I want to do is, and I'm just going to do that so you can see, what I want to do is, is to make it look three-dimensional, I want to draw it down in the darkness value so that it looks darker than the rest of the, you know, the front of the, or, you know, the face of the text, okay? Now, in my example, they were white with gray, so I'm going to go ahead and make them white with gray. But they can actually be any color that you want them to be. So now that I've created the three-dimensional looking um, title, and again, this is not an actual three-dimensional title, but it looks three-dimensional, now I can go ahead and animate it. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make both of these three-dimensional, and I, it wants to add a camera. I say, yes, please add the camera. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the crosshairs. And then I'm going to add a point, which I'm also going to make three-dimensional, okay? I will then highlight both the text and the 3D part of it and parent them to that new point, okay? Then from here, if I twirl open the new point under the transform properties, the Z or Z axis, I can move that around, okay? So what I would do is maybe go to 2000, which is just behind the camera. And if I actually showed you a perspective look here, you would see uh, that that is literally sitting just behind the camera there, right? And then what I would do is go ahead and keyframe the position of that, move forward between five and 10 frames forward, and drop it down to about 100 so it's in front of the camera so essentially it is flying into that point okay then i'll go to 
between 10 and 5 and 10 frames in front of the end of it. And I will go ahead and keyframe that to say negative 100. So it continues to fade back in the middle. And then I'll go to the end of the time frame by hitting my end key. And I'm just going to throw it way out there like at negative 50,000 or something like that. So it's kind of disappears in the back. If I do a RAM preview now, it looks like this. But it would look a lot better if I actually turned on the motion blur for both the text and for the 3D part of it. So then if I do a RAM preview, it looks like this. Yeah, so now that I've created that one, I can go ahead and come out to the editor timeline and I can drag that composite shot and put it here on the editor timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on this a little bit. And now if I play it, you can see, shoom, there it is, right? And it flies off, okay? Now, how do I do the next one and the next one and the next one? Well, it's real easy. Now, from here that I've created the original, I can just use that as a template for the rest. So I may, for example, say right-click on this, duplicate, and then I would rename this by hitting my F2 key and call it Adventure, right? And then if I double-click on it, it will bring it up in its own tab. From here, if I come to the middle, I can see where it is. Okay, and this new text, I may highlight it and I may type in the word adventure, right? Okay, and oh, it's just a little big. Ugh, I'll have to take the, the size of it down just a smidgen. Let me go all and say 290 so that I get that on there. Okay, I'm going to copy that using Control C. I'm going to open this up. And under the transform properties, I'm just going to lift it up a little bit so that I can have access to the one below it. Highlight all that and paste it. Adventure, right? And then back to zero. And now I have this uh, new title screen, right? That is actually still animated in the whole nine yards. So now all I do is I bring out uh, Adventure and I drop it next to action. And now when I play them both, I have action and I have adventure and so on and so forth. And I just keep doing that until I am happy with what I've got. So pretty much in a nutshell, that's how you create the three dimensional looking titles and then fly them through the air. So if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.